Canada's fighter jet program has been stuck in political deadlock, rising costs, and uncertainty for more than a decade. But recently, something happened that no one expected. A game-changing move from Sweden, backed by a world-class British engine giant, has completely changed the fate of Canada's air power future. Rolls-Royce, yes, that Rolls-Royce, just entered the fight. And the impact? Massive, strategic, and potentially devastating for the Pentagon. Today, we break down how the Gripen for Canada just received a Rolls-Royce engine upgrade that transforms the Swedish jet into a serious contender. Maybe even the best option Canada has ever had. This is the story of how one engine may rewrite North America's air power map. For over a decade, Canada has faced a defense crisis it simply couldn't resolve, replacing its aging CF-18 fighter fleet. The country has the second largest airspace in the world, extreme Arctic weather, and rapidly increasing Russian bomber activity. Yet its fighter replacement program has been slowed by politics, budget limits, and competing foreign pressures. The F-35 was the politically favored option, but it came with major problems. Huge purchase cost, massive long-term maintenance expenses, dependence on U.S. software and supply chains, limited cold weather flexibility. For Canada's vast northern frontier, the F-35 struggled to meet the practical mission requirements of long-distance patrols, rough airstrips, and cheap, frequent sorties. Meanwhile, the CF-18 fleet kept aging, mission loads increased, and NORAD's Arctic threats intensified. Canada was stuck between rising global dangers and a fighter jet program that refused to move forward. For years, the Gripen E has used the GEF 414 engine. Powerful, reliable, and proven. But Rolls Royce has just revealed an upgraded engine pathway designed specifically to enhance the Gripen's long endurance missions, Arctic operations, and heavy payload performance. This upgrade isn't just a small improvement. It fundamentally boosts four mission-critical areas. One, increased thrust. A push that gives the Gripen the acceleration it needs for fast interception, absolutely essential for NORAD duties. Two, cold weather power stability. Rolls-Royce engines are famous for surviving brutal climates. Three, improved fuel efficiency. This means longer patrols, fewer refueling missions, and better long-range performance, something the F-35 still struggles with. 4. Higher payload capability More weight equals more weapons. More weapons equals more deterrence. More deterrence equals stronger defense of the Arctic. This upgrade takes an already reliable engine and transforms it into a specialized Northern War Zone power plant. The Arctic is the new front line. Melting ice is opening shipping lanes. Russia is expanding bases. China is claiming interest. NATO is pouring billions into high-latitude radar systems. For Canada, this means one thing. Rapid response fighters capable of long missions in freezing conditions. And this is where the Rolls-Royce Enhanced Gripen becomes a monster. Checkmark high endurance equals better Arctic patrols. Checkmark quick acceleration equals faster intercept of Russian bombers. Low operating cost equals more sorties more often. Rugged design equals minimal maintenance at remote bases. It doesn't need massive hangars. It doesn't need U.S. tech support. It doesn't need expensive fuel-burning ferry flights. Canada gets independence, autonomy, and operational flexibility. The Rolls-Royce upgrade modifies three major tactical characteristics. One, intercept speed and climb rate. Canadian pilots need to launch fast. Russian Tu-95 and Tu-160 bombers fly closer every year. A more powerful engine means the Gripen reaches altitude faster, accelerates quicker, and intercepts earlier, often minutes earlier, 
which matters in Arctic response situations. 2. Supercruise Efficiency Gripen E already supercruises. The Rolls Royce upgrade extends supercruise duration and improves high altitude fuel burn. 3. Weapon Loadouts More thrust allows heavier combinations. Meteor, BVRAAM, Iris T, Spear Precision Missiles, Anti Ship Missiles for Coastal Defense, EW Pods for NORAD missions. This is massive. Canada gains a jet that performs like a high-end NATO fighter without needing the astronomical maintenance pipeline of the F-35. The Pentagon is deeply uneasy about Canada moving closer to the Gripen, and the new Rolls-Royce engine upgrade makes the situation even more alarming for Washington. First, the U.S. wants complete NATO standardization around the F-35. If Canada, America's closest defense partner selects the Gripen instead, it breaks the unified supply chain the U.S. has spent years building. It shows other nations that they don't need to depend on U.S. hardware to maintain frontline capabilities. The Rolls-Royce upgrade turns the Gripen E into a far more competitive aircraft, especially for cold weather nations. This threatens U.S. fighter exports, challenges the F-35's monopoly, and creates a powerful European alternative backed by Sweden and the UK. In short, the Pentagon isn't scared of the Gripen itself. It's terrified of what Canada choosing it would represent. A break in US defense dominance, a rise in European fighter autonomy, a loss of control over North American air power, and a shift that could inspire other nations to follow Canada's lead. This is why the new engine upgrade has the U.S. defense community on high alert. Let's break this down realistically. Operating cost F-35. $36,000 per hour. Gripen E, around $7,000 per hour. Canada could operate five Gripens for the cost of one F-35 flight. Maintenance F-35 requires U.S. supply chain approval. Gripen? Maintain it yourself. Even in remote northern hangars. Runway flexibility. Gripen can operate from highways, frozen runways, remote northern strips. The F-35 cannot. Upgrades and sovereignty. Gripen lets Canada install Canadian-made weapons and electronics. The F-35 does not allow that. Canada gets freedom. Canada gets affordability. Canada gets independence. And Rolls-Royce just made that package irresistible. This engine upgrade isn't just a technical improvement. It's a geopolitical shockwave. It signals a deeper Sweden-UK partnership, a European counterweight to US dominance, an emerging Arctic defense bloc, a new independent path for Canada's Air Force. With Sweden joining NATO, Nordic and North Atlantic air defense is transforming rapidly. Canada is strategically positioned to be the bridge between Europe and North America. A grip and partnership, especially one enhanced by Rolls-Royce, would strengthen NORAD modernization, Arctic surveillance, NATO's Northern Corridor, Canada's domestic aerospace industry. It could redefine Canada's defense identity for defects 